Good morning, guys. I am uh, I'm out again. It's Monday. I don't know what day it is. 20th, July 20th, and I'm out. I'm gonna. I'm back here at the uh, construction site where they where I found the uh, 1930 Mercury dime and the 1910 penny. <laughs> Talked to another friend of mine and he said go back there and just go super slow go really slow and listen for a deeper sound there might be some older coins so I'm gonna give this another shot today well this morning and uh, I'm gonna spend the day dirt fishing if I don't find something here I'll move on and we'll just keep filming so let's see what happens let's get that machine out power up the Garrett Mac AT Max and Let's go fishing. Well, don't do what I just did. Got out at that house to hunt. Got my machine out. Got my belt on. Got ready to go. Forgot my headphones. I can't hunt without my headphones. I can't. Well, I mean, I could. Every machine works without it. You can hear the sounds, but it's, I don't want to disturb everybody, and I hate not using headphones. So I drove back to the house to get my headphones. Came all the way back. This is going to put me... 30 minutes back home and 30 minutes back where I gotta go. An hour, because I forgot my headphones. Don't be stupid. Always check for all your equipment. Look at all these old houses in this neighborhood. Oh, silver in every one of these yards. If I could just get permission Wheat Penny, 1949. Found it right close to where I found that 1910 Penny. Back at the same same place. Now that I got my headphones on, I can search again. Right there by the sidewalk. And don't worry, I will cover my hole. But yeah, it's a weedy. I'll take it, and you would too. Coming back and going slower just paid off again. I see it. I see right it. There. There's another one. It's a nickel. It's a... It's a buffalo nickel. Yeah! What's the date on this? Can you see a date? Let me get some McGrew juice on this. Get some Grew juice! Can't see a date. Can't see a date. But it's a buffalo. I'll go home and try to clean it up and try to find a date, but it's a buff. I found one more wheat penny. Uh, can't see a date on it. I'll get home and clean that up. I found a bunch of new uh, Lincoln's memorial and uh, zinkin, I hate the stinking zinkin. They just, they rot, they're horrible. And uh, two dimes, so I've checked most of this yard now. The really nice lady from across the street came back over and we talked and she just told me where they, they scraped this and dug this, so I, I checked out those areas that she kind of pointed me to, but nothing old, but she did tell me there's a house, caddy corner from this, uh, that is empty and for sale so i am going to go over and uh, check that out as soon as i take a break get some water it's hot oh. don't know if it's silver or not it's kind of dark like that dime was same same place so i'll get home and clean it up and see if i can find anything on this cool i'll take I it moved over here across the street from the house that i found the good stuff lady said this house was built in around 1946, 47. And uh, I just found a, a wheat penny here in the front right yard. It's the second one out of the same hole. Don't know what date it is. I'll clean it up and let you know, but there might be more out here. I was about to head home. 
I stopped and hunted a school and didn't find anything. <clears throat> Looked for 45 minutes and nothing. But driving home, I drove past this, uh, this old house and it says um, condemned. So I am going to jump out and hunt for a second on the way home. I'm so hot. Can you hear it in my voice? But I'm so hot. But this place, uh, it's got a nice, nice old look to it. Got to give it a shot. Got to. Well, guys, there's my finds for the day right there. Yesterday got out. Yeah. Second, second sound, second hole. Excited. I swear I got the, the buffalo head, uh, Indian head buffalo nickel, I should say. It's so worn, there's no date. Can't find a date on it. Tried really hard. Uh, got five good wheat pennies. One is a 1929. Uh, one looks like it's 1912, but it's, it's warm, but it looks like 1912. One right here is definitely 1911. 1911. There's a 1929 and a 1944, and then there's one that we cannot find a date on. I even got the, the wife to get out a magnifying glass. So we all looked. Can't find a date. It's just 19 worn, but uh, it's, it's a good, it's nice find. Found a uh, silver chain. I thought it was a, a silver thimble, but uh, after looking it up online, it turns out, I think we found an old Monopoly piece. That's what I think this is, is an old Monopoly piece. And uh, one quarter, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clad dimes. One, two, three, four, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, 15, 16, 17, 18 clad pennies in that quarter. Let's see, on the junk, the junk let's take a look here two keys a rifle shell which was found in a yard and this was a piece of a fence I'm pretty sure uh, I think this is the end off a curtain rod looks like it might be is that brass I can't really tell but that's I think that's off the coffee rod uh, uh, curtain rod this was really deep, dug down really deep. I thought it was going to be good, kept giving a nice, strong signal, and uh, it just turned out to be a piece of, uh, this is definitely brass. So, yeah, that's it. That's the, the good coins. There's the other wheat peas mixed in there somewhere, quarter. Oh, and one more regular nickel. I'm getting, I'm getting better at finding nickels. The sound is finally starting to... Uh, hit me. Like, I know what that is. That's a nickel. But the silver chain, I may end up putting on the silver dollar, uh, the Mexican silver dollar that I found a while back. Maybe I'll put that on that silver chain and wear it. Who knows? But that's the finds. You never know what you're going to uh, dig up when you're out there dirt fishing. That's why it's always fun. It's always fun. And uh, it's exercise. And it's the hobby that kind of pays you back. So get out there, have fun, and uh, if you dig something cool, send it to me. I'll share it well on my page. Till next time, see ya!